Black Ops 3. Now that has a pretty nice ring to it. So recently the reveal trailer just came out for Black Ops 3. <sighs> Man, I'm just really happy and excited that it's going to be Black Ops 3. And there was a lot from this reveal trailer that meets the eye. So today, I just wanted to kind of talk about it. Right now, you're seeing the reveal trailer. I don't have any sound on it because I couldn't get the sound for some reason. I don't know. But if you want to check out the full trailer, I'll link it in the description where you can actually listen to it. But today, I want to play the trailer first. And then I'll slow down a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. But I'm only going to be talking about like the important stuff. The things that actually came with the trailer that actually mattered. That at least I feel felt that would matter to you and I in the next couple of months for Black Ops 3 that will actually talk about more about the game. So right now the first screenshot you're looking at is a, a few circles, right? So you see that 115 is circled three times in the screenshots and that's because that's going to be confirming that zombies will be in Black Ops 3. And now that's kind of already guessed because it's kind of like Pizza Hut not delivering pizzas anymore. They just have to deliver pizzas. Black Ops 3 just has to have zombies because that's Treyarch's baby. So you already know zombies are going to be in it but this just kind of confirms that 115 is the element that zombies have that uh, makes them zombies. It's been sought out all the way to World at War ever since I think the second mission or the third mission. So I thought that was kind of an important part to write there. Then the other circle that wasn't 115 is actually coordinates that if you put those coordinates in Google, it will actually take you into Egypt. Now this is important because at least we know a little geographical area of where Black Ops 3 will take place. Mainly the campaign, but maybe also some maps for a future multiplayer, but this is usually just for campaign, the little teaser trailers. So at least we know where the geographical area, if you guys remember back in Black Ops 2, uh, there's some campaign missions, I think it was either in Egypt or India where the enemies were. So now at at least we get some sort of idea if it was like in Russia or in Vietnam then that will probably take then this will probably take place in the Cold War era since it's not really hinting towards that so, uh, if it's not hinting towards the Soviet Union or Vietnam or maybe uh, China then we kind of know it probably won't take place in the Cold War era Egypt it will probably be more in the modern times so I thought that was kind of a key point right there also later on there was also another geographical uh, coordinate area thing which I think this takes place in Marat? I don't know the city, but I'll put the uh, name of the city uh, once I actually get the correct pronunciation of what this coordinate is. So that was just also another geographical area. These geographical coordinates are important because at least we'll know where it takes place. Like I said before, if it was in the Soviet Union, they'll probably take place in the Cold War. Uh, moving on, we also see more and more of what the numbers and letters start to symbolize because they all come together at one point. And if you guys don't know what the Black Ops 1 cover art looks like, it's this guy that's pointing down two guns at the ground and he's like all a silhouette and shadowy and stuff. Well, it turns out that those numbers and letters all come together to look something Something like that and recently just recently uh, later on in this afternoon uh, the cover art actually leaked of what Black Ops 3's uh, game cover art will probably look like now they could change it uh, they probably won't but they could change it but it will actually look like this and this is very very important because he looks like he's from the future he looks very futuristic but it does not mean that he's gonna be all futuristic jetpacks all over the place just know that the campaign probably will be more or less in the future not really in the Cold War era, not really in the Korean era, not really in the World War II era. What would what, what this guy look like he belong in World War II, honestly? So that's how you know that the campaign probably won't be set in World War II, but that doesn't mean that we can't jump back and forth because that's what happened in Black Ops 1. We went from the Cold War all the way to World War II and just so on and so forth. So It'll probably be in the future, but that's not a bad thing. Black Ops 2 was somewhat in the near modern future, and that was a great game, at least in my opinion. Uh, the last and final thing that I want to talk about, which honestly isn't all that big, is just this little image right here. So this is like a trident. I think that's what it's called. It's a little logo. Now, there's this image floating around of this possible trident or possible team logo for Black Ops 3, and it's stuff like this little Poseidon pitchfork, which if you guys also don't know what a trident is or a team logo, it's like the Op 40 from Black Ops 1 or from Modern Warfare 2, or maybe the Task Force 1 for one from Modern for two more for three so this is probably going to be a team in the multiplayer for black ops 3 or maybe the team name like atlas atlas is the current team for advanced warfare 
So this is probably the same thing, just Trident, I don't know what it could be called, but this is probably the logo of either the enemy team or the good guy team. And pretty much that's about it. That's the only key important things that I found from the Black Ops 3 trailer. If you saw anything or hear any more information, leave comments down below, share this video with anyone that we wants to, share their own opinions about Black Ops 3, uh, and also let me know if you think that they will be jumping back and forth. Like I said, the leak cover art just came out recently. They could always change it, but I don't think they will. I don't think they will they have no reason to change it uh but yeah this is the black ops 3 trailer i'm really really excited i'm really really happy with the things that are turning out i just can't wait to see more and more information coming out because you already know later on this week more and more information is going to be coming out uh call of duty had stuff on snapchat all week just teasing us because they're just a little tease but it was a great way to campaign black ops 3 so i'm excited i hope you are excited and i'll see you guys later if you want to check that uh, full trailer out you can uh follow me on twitter if you want to talk to me about anything about black ops 3 or just your life about girls and whatnot so i'll see you guys later enjoy the rest of your day hopefully you guys are excited for black ops 3 and bye